Welcome to another video concerning Microsoft Access. Today I'm going to talk to you a bit about creating forms. Forms, you know, the, the heartbeat of, of the database system. Users interact with forms. They navigate from one form to another through a main menu form. They uh, interact with the data through data sheet forms or other forms that are made custom. They navigate to reports and are able to work and interact with the data based on the forms that you build and put into the database. So what we're going to do today is to take a look at some forms that are, that are helpful to build. Um, I'm going to show you the type of forms that you can build. I'm going to show you the wizard today and show you the ribbon where you can access the builders for all of these forms. So let's go ahead and get started. If we go up here to the create menu, uh, you see the part of the ribbon that's labeled as forms. Now, the different forms have different types. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a customer's form here. Uh, actually, the products form here. I wanna, wanna show you that one. This is a typical form built in this particular demo database. It allows you to see a product. They're going to feature a 1953 Skylark and give you basic information about the Skylark. It's obviously a model and you see the, the prices here, the, the cost and the retail price, sale price, so forth. Now, this is what they call the form view. Okay, and if we go back to the home menu, you see the different views that you can look at here and the form view right now is highlighted. Now, if I look at a data sheet view, you see something like a spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet allows you to see the different fields, scroll to the right or left, and you can actually edit in this particular form, you know, just by putting, putting the cursor in the form and put it in, putting it in edit mode, change the prices and so forth. Data sheet views allow, allows the user to see multiple records all at once. Whereas if you're looking at the form view, you only tab through one record at a time. And we're looking at record number five in this case. And we can scroll all the way forward to, you know, other records and see the other data that's in here. Looks like the only first few records have pictures in them. So the other views that are available here is layout view. Now layout view, you'll notice what pops up here is a property sheet or you could put the pro property sheet here, you could put an existing field sheet here, either one. And that allows you to modify the different settings for the form and it allows you to do it on the fly. In allowing you to do it on the fly, sometimes that, that makes it easier for you to see what the user is going to see. It is somewhat limited. You can't do everything that you can do in design view, which I'm going to show you here in a moment, but it is a good way to finalize your forms and get the last little tweaks done before you deploy it to a customer. So if we go down here, design view is where you actually both build and edit your forms. And we'll, we'll get to that, uh, that view later as well and show you what you can do, show you the different kinds of controls and so forth that you can put on a form to make it look and do the things that you need it to do. All right, so if we go here now to create, I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'm gonna close the form. And now if I go to create here and look at this form tool right here, let's, if we go here to contacts, for example, this form button will take this contacts table that I've highlighted and when I, with one click, it'll create a form. It has all the fields and you can do data entry one form at a time. And so here's our contacts list and going through. Now, I do this first one to basically point out that when you're in this create mode here, every one of these buttons has a single purpose and it's for creating forms. That's all it's here for. Now, that allows you to do it in various different ways with different features. This form view just splashes all the fields on the screen and you're ready, ready to go quick and dirty. Sometimes you just need a form to do some quick data entry and then maybe you'll even discard the form. Or you could start by using this form to give you the basics and then you can go modify it from there in design view, either one, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and close this one for now, and I'm not going to save the changes there, so it won't change. It doesn't save the form down here at all. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, table customers here. Form design here, you'll notice opens up a palette here, and it's just the blank palette. Literally, you can design a new form from scratch. And we'll talk a lot about creating forms from scratch and the controls and all the things that you can do on a form in a little bit more advanced video. But I wanted to show you that this is where you'll do most of your work. And it's in design view that you'll edit any form that is in your database. If you want to make tweaks or additions, or add, a, add a field, take away a field, tweak a, a query that's underlying, all of those things are done here in design view. And so we will close this for the moment, go back to create. You can get, just open up a blank form here. It opens up a form that has no fields on it. Then you can go ahead and change it to edit view here. And basically you're the same place that you were in design view. Kind of an odd button to have. I don't know why I'd ever start with a blank form like that, but that brings us to the form wizard. Now the form wizard is, is where I'll end the video today sharing with you all the things that you can do to establish your form, the types of forms you can establish through form wizard. So it starts by, by bringing up a dialog box here that allows you to choose which table you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use the customers table and in the customers table then I can choose what fields to bring in. I'm going to bring in all the fields so that I can scroll up and take out the ID field, because a lot of times you don't show the ID field to customers. Okay, so here's all the fields. And now I can go next. Now I have several different types of forms that I can build. A columnar form, which basically puts the label and the data next to each other. And we'll keep going down the page and then down another column and then down another column until it gets all the, all the fields fit into the form. Sometimes if it can't put it in one page, you'll have a scroll bar here on the right that'll uh, show up um, so that you can get to the rest of the fields that are at the bottom. A tabular form basically puts it a lot like a data sheet view, only it more, is more like a, a table. And then there's, there is the data sheet view, which of course puts you know, the record selectors over here and you see a regular data sheet like you would when we're building a query and running a query and seeing the, the results of the query. You see the field names at the top, you see the record selectors down the left-hand side. In the tabular format, you see the field name up here. Generally, the field name is in a header, and when you scroll down to, through the various records, it will scroll down and this header will stay up here. Then you have justified here. And what it'll do is it'll put fields together in, in rows and when, it, when you're all done, it'll have a nice square right side, which is what justified is. You get a square or level, even left side and right side in there. So let's go ahead and look at what a columnar form would look like if we did this. So we click next, title we want for the form. I'm going to do this one as columnar, because that's the kind of form I'm creating. And so here we, we have that form, okay? So what happens then if we want to create another one? Let's go back to the form wizard and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna choose all these fields and then we're gonna take out customer ID. And what I'm doing is I'm just showing you all the differences between these various forms. So I'm gonna create a tabular one this time and I'm gonna call this tabular and then if I click finish, okay. So the tabular form gives me a big, a big scroll bar down here. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna ma maximize it here in the window. I get a scroll bar here because it will keep fitting form fields in until it finally runs out of fields to put in, but it'll keep lengthening out to the right side of, of your form until it gets all the data there. When you put this in design view, what you'll see is you've just got the fields here with the titles, the labels up here. And we'll talk about those fields and labels. And what, what you do at this point is you'll notice that when I put this back in form view, some of these 
fields aren't quite long enough and others are too long. I don't need, you know, a state field this long for two characters, but I definitely need more space for the address and possibly, you know, several of the names here, okay? Over here, these are different kinds of fields. Uh, they're probably long text fields where these are short text fields and with a little bit of formatting here for the phone numbers too. So long text fields will tend to show up in multiple lines here. And then if we scroll all the way to the right, eventually we get to a notes field here, which is probably a, a, what they call a memo field. And the memo field, you know, it takes up more space. So you see that when we go back to design view here, we see that there's a lot of space here, but when we scroll over here to the right, the reason for that space is to accommodate the, uh, the notes field out here, okay? So let's go ahead and put that back in form view and go back to create and form wizard. And I'm gonna just do the same thing I keep on doing here and put those same fields in here so we can get a good comparison of what's going on here. And if I click next here, I'm going to choose the data sheet view. And I think you'll, I think you already know by the description that I've given what the data sheet view is going to look like. And I'm going to call it data sheet for now. And then I'm going to click finish. And then what you see is really what, what you get when you uh, open a table or uh, open a query. In fact, if I were to come down here and just open this customer's table, it looks very much very much the same, uh, with the exception that the links on the uh, database tools relationships page um, show up here where they don't show up in the form. Next thing I want to do is, is the lastly, is go ahead and go back to the form wizard and create that one last form. So I'm going to put everything over there, scroll up and take the customer ID out again. And now we're going to look at that justified form. And the justified form, I'm just going to call it justified. And then I'm going to click finish here. And so there you see all the forms in nice, easy rows. Might be a very nice way to start. Uh, as you look, put this in uh, design view, you'll see this is kind of, a, this is in single form mode is what they call this. Um, you see a single page at a time. Up here are all of the, labels you might want to put the make the labels raised or something so that they're more distinctive compared to the look of the actual data that you see in there so that you can see what it's doing and and you, the way you do that is with the property sheet over here you'd uh, for example in special effect instead of leaving it flat i'll put it raised here just to give you an idea what what other things that you do and here it's it's raised, so it's got a little bit more of a box around it. And you can change the color, do all kinds of things that we'll talk about in, in, uh, in future videos. So what we have here literally are forms that you can build on the fly and be able to address them and, and access the data very quickly. A lot of times I will start with the wizard and I'll put together a form based on the wizard and then I'll just, I'll do all the modifications to it and make it, uh, make it work for my customer based on throwing together the fields and get, getting started. You know, sometimes the minutia of taking one field after another and putting it in its right place and so forth, sometimes that gets to be a little bit, uh, a little bit onerous. So it's a lot of times nice to just throw everything together real quick and then make modifications from there. So I hope this uh, has been valuable to you. It's a look at the wizard. It's a look at the kind of forms you can build uh, with the wizard and without the wizard. And the next video, I'll go ahead and get a little bit deeper into the custom forms that you can build with Design View, uh, showing you what controls are and how you can uh, use the controls and modify the controls. So hope to see you again soon. Thanks. I want to thank you so much for viewing this video. We have great content on, on the site and I'm putting more content out every single day. There's a link to one of them on the side of the screen over here. Also, please help me grow the channel by subscribing. So hit that subscribe button a little bit lower on the other side of the screen and hope to see you again. Thanks.